Hey guys, what's up? My name is Renee. This is my official New York City apartment tour. I moved in in March. I moved from Florida. I will do my best to link everything that I can in the description box, the furniture, the little knickknacks, all the above. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the apartment tour. So we are at the front entryway of my apartment. My door is actually right here. When you span up, you have this wall of just stuff. <laughs> uh, it's actually like a little entryway that I wanted to make super cozy. New York is like not cozy at all. Like when you're walking around the city, it smells, it's industrial looking, it's cold sometimes. And I just want something like really deep and warm and cozy. I got this from West Elm. It's a buffet and the doors slide in and out, which makes for great storage space here in New York. And then the wallpaper I got from from anthropology it's actually stick on wallpaper um, if you do get this wallpaper though just keep in mind that you're gonna have to do like one slab at a time and you have to match him with like the design here which was really freaking hard <laughs> I just really liked it like the gold accent and the deep navy and the little birds I just I don't know I thought it was really cute it's like masculine yet very feminine this piece right here is from Motini I got this on Amazon the gold mirrors from Amazon these art prints are from society six let me know if you guys know any of these people if you know that I love you forever for the top of the buffet I got two prints of my mother she's just so beautiful i love her so much and that's actually me right there i know i'm so cute this sculpture thing is for my mom's co-worker actually she was gonna throw it away and i was like this is the coolest thing i've ever seen like please don't. This is a little wax warmer that my friend Lindsay got for me. I think she got it from Target. These are just New York City books. And then this is a print of me and my brother. And then my dad and his sister, my aunt Steffi, uh, were both the same exact age difference apart. And I'm very similar to my aunt and he's very similar to my dad. So just thought that was super cute. I'm going to circle on over here. This is the first little closet that we have please ignore how ugly it is i'm trying my best i want to make it as cute as possible but you know here in new york it's really hard to like make use of every little nook and cranny um i do actually have a storage space too so i think i just need to work on this that might be like a vlogmas video that we could do it's just kind of getting this together um but i ended up hanging this little hook thing here and just threw like random things like umbrellas a scarf purses and stuff hung up my hats these are all just like storage stuff handy dandy tools box and then I also have a washer and dryer this is actually super rare here in the city so I'm super thankful for that and then like I said just random stuff down here step stool is a must here in the city and then all my coats and stuff in here over here right next to my door I have this little map of New York City um, something here that I didn't know until I moved here was that there's like little neighborhoods everyone here refers to the little part of town that they're in or where they're going in terms of their neighborhood this is a piece actually I found on Etsy it's a watercolor piece um, from a girl named Shelby Pipkin and it's just super handy <laughs> I actually use this quite often but it's also super cute have it right here in front of my door and then I have this telephone I thought this was super cool you can actually call downstairs the concierge we don't have this in Florida so I guess this is like the high-rise kind of thing so that's my entryway and then making way through this little hallway we have my little key section here um, and then this giant piece of me and my dad. It's so obnoxious, but I love it so much. And then my living room. So coming from my entryway, I have this giant full length mirror here just for like if you want to check yourself out before you head to the city. And then this is my living room. So this is a alcove studio. So it's a studio, um, but you'll see down there is my bedroom. There's just no door, but there is some sort of like separation. But my living room is smack dab in my kitchen, which I'll show you guys later. The windows are basically what sold me. They're super high windows let me show you how tall the windows are because the camera doesn't do it justice I'm five seven that's so super open. They're really, really, really high, which I I really like. It really does open the space a little bit. It makes it feel bigger than it actually is. I don't know the square footage of this apartment, but I'll pop it here on the screen if you guys are interested. This is where we typically watch TV, 
chill and just relax. My couch is from Polly and Bark, I think it's called. Um, and then these, I had two white ones. I don't know where my other one went, but that's from Ikea. These two ones are from Amazon, the dark gray. Um, the pumpkin one is from Kirkland's. That's not always there. Um, and then the Just One Chapter one is from Amazon as well. This table is from Ikea. And then I have my little wine fridge here in this little nook right underneath my TV. This is actually from Amazon as well. I love this thing so much. The shelves slide out, which is amazing. It looks really cute at night with the light on. We ended up mounting my TV here in the corner just because I didn't want to get rid of this view. This is like what makes it. The view is spectacular. Uh, this is my little view. You guys are interested you can span down and see everyone walking around my window here opens but it only opens like this big but if you want like a nice cool breeze you can get that in um, and then a lot of you guys ask me about my windows like you'll see over here I, like my apartment is full on just windows I do have blinds and I can put them down I'll show you guys what it looks like when we put them down and then this piece right here I got from Amazon that's Noah's little basil plant and then I got the pot from West Elm I strung some string lights around it which look really really cool I'll show you guys like a quick little night view of the living room it's super super cozy and then I just threw in some moss down here it was actually like a DIY we threw like cardboard and then threw the little faux moss here on the top um, but it looks really good we're gonna span on over to the kitchen So my kitchen is actually really big for a New York City apartment. It does have a lot of space and storage. I did put the couch facing this way, obviously because of the view, but I also wanted like some sort of separation between the kitchen and then the living area. So I did a whole video about my kitchen revamp where I go like in depth in the kitchen, like in the little cabinets and whatnot and some organization tips that I will pop on the screen here for you guys. Get like a more in-depth kitchen tour, if you will. This is a gas stove i've never had that um i love it it makes your food taste 100 million times better it's something that i find a lot of pleasure in uh the teapot i got on amazon i also got all these like little tools and stuff from amazon this is actually a microwave and an oven and fun fact it's half the size of a regular oven <laughs> new york city style but again they made really good use of the space like this down here is a little nook for stuff this is a little nook for stuff this one is a little nook for stuff which i actually put my spice crack in this this is from amazon this is really cool so this pops out and it turns into like a little light and then you can also move this and it'll turn into a little fan for when I'm burning the house down. I got my air fryer out. This is my little knife set that I got from Amazon. This is actually my dishwasher, which is kind of cool. The rug I got from Amazon. We got the little Nespresso supplement area, fruit basket. The lamp is from Target. And then my Ninja, because I don't have a pantry, you guys will be really proud of me. I made myself a pantry. So this is my pantry that i made again i go further in depth of like the organization and stuff of the kitchen in the separate video and down here i also made this into my little pantry these shelves kind of go out it's a giant mess but there's a method to the madness like it makes sense for me this is actually my fridge which is cool and then this is my freezer down here i actually have an ice maker which is pretty cool we're gonna walk on over here to my little dining nook So this is new and I'm so obsessed with it. I needed a separate space. We were like sitting down on the floor eating and it was just like wasn't, it wasn't it. So if you guys watch my vlogs, you already know where this stuff is from. But this table is actually from West Elm and it was a set that came with the two chairs here. We actually went to the West Elm store to sit on them to see if they're comfortable. And they're so comfortable. You can see here it's like slanted and I just feel like it looks really great. It fits perfect in the space. This little lamp i got from amazon this is so cozy at nighttime i'll show you guys like a clip here oh my god it just ugh, i love it this lamp just makes it so cozy i have some coasters over here a candle a vase with some little green leaves here i feel like i did okay with the space and then the view the windows go super high again um is actually of the empire state building this is the view kind of the same as the living room um but it's nice to kind of sit down i'll show you guys like the, the view when you sit down and then you can look down here. There's like a little pool. Um, and then 
we'll make way into the bedroom. Baby, don't move now. Baby, don't move. We gotta stand still right now. Where I can see you. There's a feeling in my heart so strange. Baby, Giving you guys a quick span. Um, again, the windows kind of just make this room. This is like the best part of the apartment. It's just so open and they're actually floor to ceiling windows. So they go down all the way to your feet throughout the whole apartment. The whole apartment does that. Um, so again, I wanted to make the most of this space. So I made it super cozy, threw a king bed in here and still managed to get my office and my fireplace in. So this fireplace I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think you can get it on Amazon. I'll find it for you guys um, and link it down below. This garland here is just for fall it's not always here picture is called books it's from society six i just ugh, i love it so much she's just so pretty and i just love her vibe she just makes this whole room look at that oh i just love her this is a skylight which i'll show you guys you can pop on and make your room look like a universe at night it is so freaking cozy it, it just like puts me at ease i feel like i'm underwater sometimes i'll just sit on my bed and watch it at night it's just ugh so nice all these like little goods here on the fireplace again are just seasonal so they're not always here the bed itself is from west elm this is actually slanted here which i really like because we used to have my tv over there but now we just use my laptop or my desktop the sheets themselves are from west elm as well these are the most comfortable sheets i've ever had in my entire life this is also the most comfortable thing ever this is a faux uh, fur blanket but it feels like fur this is from West Elm as well and it just makes it so cozy I'm probably gonna just like buy so many more blankets during the season because again I'm from Florida so I'm not used to this weather here both end tables are from West Elm the lamps are from West Elm this is just a giant commercial for West Elm but I really like it I feel like it's super simplistic yet chic and I don't know I just really like it this bed itself is actually a Tempur-Pedic bed this is like my favorite part of my whole bedroom you can like move the mattress up and down. You can move the feet up and down. You can put yourself in zero gravity. It's like the best thing ever, especially when you have the night city view. You just lay here and it's just oh so cozy. I'll show you guys. Look at that. And then it just it's just so nice this shelf i actually just put up this is from amazon a lot of you guys ask me like aren't you afraid that's gonna fall but it actually comes with like something that you drill in with like eight screws they have these like little pipes that come out and then you put the shelf on the pipe so no i'm not afraid at all the prints are from society six these little succulents are from amazon the little thinking person is from amazon and then this vine is from amazon as well as the pot which is actually the same pot as this it comes with like a pack of two but they were so beautiful what else do we have the closet this is like my little near closet so i live with my boyfriend noah so this is his little section um it came with these shelves and stuff installed in so we were pretty lucky with that but this hanging shelf here this is from amazon and then it comes with like a rod that goes on the bottom so we were able to like hang that as well this is from amazon as well we try to make do with the space that we were given um and then this little section here is mine uh this is the ikea drawer that everyone gets they're just like little drawers that i put my clothes in i got the same organizer that noah had in his closet here's my hanging clothes we got some jewelry my dad's clothes uh sweats and stuff and i actually still have a lot of room up there that we could use but we just haven't yet so yeah the sun is coming out strong so we're gonna walk through here look how thin of a space we have here to walk to my office this is probably my favorite part this is like where i spend the majority of my time i wanted a desk that was clear and glass just because i wanted the desk not to block the view so as you can see here like the view is pretty like much still there um this is the best view right here because you're right at the corner of the windows and then you can span over here and you get jersey over there this is the water you can look down that way and there's more water it's just it's incredible and then again all the windows open and you can put the the shades down it's just really nice so the desk chair is from crate and barrel i got all this stuff on amazon i did an office revamp so again <laughs> you can go to that video planter is from umbra um, this is actually a real plant, guys. He was with me in Florida and came here in a pod. <laughs> I don't know how he survived, but he somehow he did. And then this is my little nightstand. I, this is like my favorite. I got this on Amazon and uh, put a picture of my dad and my mom on here. I just love it so much. 
so yeah that's my little bedroom now walking back through here through the living room yellow you can see there's a door here this is my bathroom the door doesn't open all the way because I threw a hamper back here, which actually doesn't make me too mad because if you go to the living room, usually this door was always open and you could see the toilet and just like wasn't beautiful and I was like, I don't like that. So the fact that the door can't open enough to see the toilet it works fine for me. But again, New York living, you gotta make do with what you have. I'm gonna close the door here. This came with the apartment and so did this right here, but I bought these things on Amazon that you just stick onto the wall and you can just hang things on. So I have optimal space there. And then I also threw one over here for my little face towel. This is the sink. It comes with one drawer, guys. <laughs> This is the drawer that we were given. So this is basically all my tanner and makeup and stuff. And then I did put some stuff back there. I ended up buying this little unit here. It's so thin that it'll literally fit into anywhere. I popped this fan that used to be on my treadmill that's now underneath my couch. And it like moves like this. So like when I'm getting ready. And then I ended up buying this as well. So this is more storage. I popped a plant on the top again from Umbra. And this is a real plant that I got from Trader Joe's. This little thing is my favorite. It says you are absolutely gorgeous. And that is the least interesting thing about you. Got my little Bluetooth speaker, candle. Something I really like about this bathroom is the gray tile. It spans pretty much all around, so it makes you feel like you're in like this cave. It's really freaking cool. So this is the mirror, but only this side opens. The other side is stuck on the wall, but then we have all this storage up here. And another mirror. <laughs> so the shower curtain I got from Target as well, just super simplistic and it like matched with the walls and stuff. I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed with seeing people's shower heads. This one, it feels like it's raining when it's on. It's so nice. I'll put it on for you guys, actually. Let's do it. Ah, it's so nice. And then as you can see here, the tile goes throughout the shower. There's a bath. And then I ended up hanging this up. This is just a giant rod that I got from Amazon for all my shower goods. So that's my little New York City apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will do a little overlay here of my apartment at nighttime. New York City skylines at night are just so beautiful. So I will end the video here with a quick walkthrough of my apartment at nighttime. Over Scattered in the gravel